Hello YouTube, my name is Kanaki2456 and thank you for clicking on my tutorial on how to get a brush metal effect in Photoshop CS6. Now first off, um, this also works in Photoshop CS5 and I'm not sure on what other versions it works on but I'm sure it works for CS6 and, C and both CX5. So as you can see here, this is basically the finished product and I'll be showing you how to get this. Um, it's very simple, it's mostly just a bunch of filters. So first off, let me make a new project. Right. So, I'm going to go to File, New, and um, whatever your width is, you just want to add one to it. So this was originally 1280, I just changed it to 1281. And for this project, let's just use Example. Okay? Now, first you want to do is you want to go over to your Color Gradient Tool, and you want to pick your color for the metal. Now I already have mine selected, which is a light gray, so I don't really need to. So basically just want to highlight basically the entire thing. Filter, noise, add noise. You want that mounted about 40, and you want to make sure you have Gaussian and Monochromatic both checked. So I want to go to filter again, blur, and then motion blur. I want the angle at about 0, and the distance at 100. So here you see you somewhat have your effect, but you have these little weird bars on the side. So to get rid of those, you just simply want to pan crop it out. Um, so if you don't know how to pan crop, you basically just choose the area that you want Photoshop to keep and it'll cut out the rest. You just want to highlight it, and right click, and crop. And there you go, it's just like we have before. It's a very easy effect to do in Photoshop CS6 and CS5. Thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to uh, see another tutorial by me, just leave a suggestion in the comments. Comment or subscribe, all that good stuff. I can see you later.